Hi everyone, Sandman here. This video is mainly to do with my thoughts about CAFE, better known as the Canadian Association for Equality, and how they fit into the equal rights movement as well as the men's rights movement. I was out volunteering and shot a video for them this past weekend, and I had some time to get to know some of the volunteers instead of just filming a particular lecture by a particular person that they have at their events. And I want to share my thoughts about what I saw and more importantly, how I felt about this experience. If you haven't done so already, I urge everyone to go over to CAFE's YouTube page and subscribe to their channel, and I'm putting a link to that in the description below. A few days ago, I heard Paul Elam over at A Voice for Men say that CAFE needs to recognize the dirty tricks that feminists use, and to basically stand up to them instead of just being relaxed about it, as they seem to be now. I think CAFE is taking a very positive and opposite view in this case. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that CAFE is doing a great job specifically because their volunteers are more relaxed and easygoing, and especially because they're positive. People in general tend to respond better to a positive message than a negative one. If you're in someone's face, looking angry and mean, people will subconsciously think and feel that your message must also be very negative. But if you put on a smile and a positive message, then more people will listen to you and take your message seriously. It's also hard for people to take you seriously when you're using foul language to get your message across. If you're going to use a negative tone of voice, then people simply aren't going to listen to your MGTOW, MRA, or in this case with CAFE, Equal Rights Association. It's not about aiming to push the rights for one sex or gender over the other. And I think that if more groups showed up like that, then they could basically reduce the number of radical feminists in society, and would also reduce the number of misogynists in society as well. And I believe that we're moving into a future where more men and women are going to have to work together as partners in some way for the simple act of survival. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Just because I choose to go my own way and avoid relationships doesn't mean that most guys in our society will embrace the MGTOW movement or consume and digest the red pill knowledge that I share. Most men and women will continue to wear their blinders when it comes to relationships and marriage. And there's simply no way of changing that particular part of human nature. And I don't want to reiterate that male-female relations should go back to some form of traditionalism. Basically, right now, we're in uncharted waters. In the history of humanity, both men and women have never experienced the relative peace and stability, as well as freedom, that they're enjoying today. And just because we have it today doesn't necessarily mean we're going to have it tomorrow. When I went out this weekend and met the group of volunteers from CAFE, they seem to be very laid back, easy going, and saw equality as their goal, and not only men's rights, as feminists would have you assume. And the group is very equally divided between men and women. So that tells me that women also see the injustice that's happening in our society towards men and boys. And many of the women I spoke to were also affected by this in some way. So they were there to show their sympathy and support for men, and they were there to make sure people were aware of the issues. I was also expecting there to be some kind of incident out in the middle of the square where CAFE was doing its educational and pamphlet campaign. But for the entire time that I was there, I didn't see anything negative happen. And for feminists to come out and call CAFE some kind of hate group is completely insane. I think this has to do with political and financial power more than anything else. If society were to achieve more equal relationship status between men and women, then feminists would have nothing left to fight over. They wouldn't need to exist at all. So the basic reason they're fighting so hard right now is because they want to justify their very existence, and their existence is being called into question. When your job or your way of life is being threatened, you will fight back to protect it. This is basic human nature, and should not be disregarded from the arguments being spread around. I also want to talk about two mayors up here in Canadian cities, just west of Toronto, that have been caught up in recent spending scandals. They are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxpayer money for things they simply don't need. They are using the government as their own piggy bank. Yet it's Toronto Mayor Rob Ford that gets most of the negative publicity, and he's not even spending gobs of taxpayer dollars on his own personal enjoyment. What I'm trying to say is that the mayors in these western cities are trying to justify the taxpayer money that they are spending. And institutional feminism needs to justify the money that it receives in the form of corporate as well as government grants in order to survive and to continue to grow. If our society starts to give money and attention to issues associated with equal rights for men and boys, 
which CAFE is trying to highlight, that feminist organizations may lose that money that they're currently receiving, and it might go towards more equal rights or male issues. This, I believe, is the main reason CAFE is under attack. In my opinion, this is all about money and political power. I think that if we want more equality and better female-male relations, MGTOWs, MRAs, and ERAs need to work together to expose the corruption in mainstream feminism. We need to spend our time trying to uncover the mismanagement of both public and private money in such organizations, if it exists, and then we basically need to expose it. And at the same time, we need to promote ourselves as positive and unbiased. I know that some of you will disagree with me on what I have to say, but I'm just putting these ideas out there to see what everyone thinks about them, and I'm also attempting to get everyone to think about these issues for themselves. So now I'm going to take a moment to show you the edited clip I put together for CAFE. You might have seen it already, but I want to show everyone how well-spoken, polite, and positive the people involved in CAFE truly are. So enjoy. Uh, my name is Gabrielle and I'm here today to uh, help promote CAFE and men, boys and fathers issues. I think it's really important that both uh, men and women work together for equality. I think that um, I think that men need to play a role in women's success, uh, both in the workplace and in the family. And I think that only good can come from working together towards equality. And, and it's ultimately about letting the individual have the choice and, and having as many options for everyone as possible. Well, I came to Canada in December and I feel like there is a lot of inequality in this culture. And I truly believe that men and women should treat each other with respect and honesty. So today, what we are doing at the corner of Dundas and Young is uh, raising awareness to these issues of equality for everyone. These issues affect everyone, society as a whole, and we aim to educate and uh, bring these issues to light in the public. We are a charitable organization and we look forward to opening the first men's and family center here in Toronto. And I've been a part of CAFE for about a year now, um, Canadian Association for Equality. Um, I've been interested in equal rights and uh, the issues with equal rights in Canada for a lot longer than that, but um, I was introduced to CAFE last year through a video on YouTube and I've been a part of CAFE since. Um, I volunteer with them um, as well as uh, join their seminars and lectures. Um, the reason I'm here today is because um, I'm here to support equal rights in Canada for both men and women and that actually includes transgenders, um, homosexual communities, bisexual communities. Uh, we are here to support equality for everyone. It's not one versus another, it's not to support one or the other, it's actually for everyone. Um, I've been talking to people out there and you hear a lot of interesting stories and a lot of people are getting interested in, in this association and one of the stories I heard today was a gentleman that was speaking about how for the past 19 years he's been trying to be a part of uh, his daughter's life and he has been and he fought for joint custody and he just couldn't get it because he ran out of money because legal fees are so expensive in Canada and uh, he basically fought as far as he could. Um, a lot, of, a lot of fathers speak to me and they tell me how they want it to be or they want to be a part of their children's lives and the system just doesn't allow that. And these are healthy, productive, working members of our society who just want to be a part of their children's lives and they're just not given the opportunity. And a lot of times um, I hear stories about how when they have the weekend with the children they're supposed to be given, they're not granted their right by the mother and their former exes, um, and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, they, it's, these are the issues that we try to address. There's also the issue of uh, boys and male uh, suicide rates being four times that of women in, in Canada, which is not really addressed, and that's a huge issue. And other than that, another issue that I'm interested in is the, the male student rates in post-secondary schools is dropping in this country and has been for the past uh, uh, couple of decades. And that's actually alarming because in the long run, 
that will create more issues and that's one of the issues we're trying to address here and yeah we we would love for people to join us it's a beautiful day out there we have some great music going on that i support cafe because it's a, a very good organization who think about uh, the, the 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 issue of um, men and boys inside the family well i hope you enjoyed that video clip and now see that CAFE is made up of many demographics, including young people, men, women, mothers, and immigrants. Any and all feedback on my video is much appreciated. Well, that does it for today's video. I'm also including a link to CAFE's official website in the description below, so you can take a look at more pictures from the event, and possibly volunteer for future events yourself. Thank you everyone for taking your daily dose of red pills. So enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.